What's going on YouTube? Steven, the salon guy here, and today we have Damiana. What a pretty name, huh? Thank Damiana. <laughs> and uh, Damiana's hair is a little bit uh, on the, it needs some love, put it that way. Uh, we need to do a haircut on her. I just wanna kind of do a step-by-step -step haircut on her hair to break down how I would approach something like this where, you know, she wants to keep a nice flow to the whole thing, but her ends really, really need a trim right into here. Like more than a trim, like it's very, very fried and we're gonna shape it up. So I wanna kinda do a before and after type uh, video. And then when we create the shape, we're gonna add some layers into here, just really loosen the shape up a little bit because it's pretty, but as you can see through here, it's just kind of weighing her down. So we wanna add some life to it. So I'm ready to go, let's get started. All right, so we are ready to go on Damiana's haircut, and I'm just gonna spin her around so you guys can see what you have uh, going on here. This is all just knotty hair right here, right? Your hair gets knotted? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray 25 spray in, which is an amazing spray, a leave-in treatment. You get through the knots in like seconds. Spray it in, and one quick little tip is when you're combing out knots, hold your hair in a ponytail like this, so you're not gonna pull too much hair and hurt your scalp and just comb through it like this. And then you can work your way up. And I always like to place my hand on the head this way, so I'm not just like ripping hair from the scalp where I'm actually like securing it in, which helps the knots get through. But you see how easy that is? Combing it right through. That's how amazing this spray is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create kind of a medium to longer layered shape on her hair. And <clears throat> the reason is, is because she wants to grow her hair out, which is very, very important. So anytime someone wants to grow their hair out, I take that into consideration. I'm not one of those stylists that just says, oh, you want to trim? Okay, and hack off like five inches of her hair. <laughs> I'm not one of those guys. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna create my outline of the haircut, and I've done this in a lot of my videos, and I'm going to start with the outline first, which is the base down and through here. And I start off in the back, and then we're gonna work our way towards the front. We're gonna create an angled shape right in through the front here. So looking at this profile, I'm thinking like maybe right in this area would be a good point to start putting some long layers to work in through this to create kind of like a longer layered shape. Can we bring it up here? Will she look good with like a longer kind of fringe area? Yeah, sure, she would look great with that. But I wanna respect the length and I just wanna create some really nice movement in through here and as well as the top and the back. So just to give the haircut some life. So what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of speed through some of this um, some parts will be you know, normal, normal speed, some parts will be sped up a little bit, but I'm gonna go through the entire haircut and then we'll go back and break it down, okay? So I'm ready to go, let's get started. So before we start, I just wanna show you guys what I'm doing and how I section this. Quick way and a quick little tip is you don't always have to use clips when you're cutting hair because sometimes it takes you five minutes just to unravel the hair, clip it, I just section it and push the hair out of the way going forward this way and now I have a clean section without any clips and I can comb this all straight down and I'm ready to go. Comb that down, really, really helpful tip. So as you can see here, I've already basically almost cut the entire back that fast without using any clips. You just comb the hair and you're good to go. Very, very helpful tip, uh, especially if you're in a time crunch. So now we're working on to the last section in through here, and now the hair is starting to look a lot more solid on the ends. And that's the whole goal of this haircut, is not to you know, chop off all her hair and make it really, really short, but to make it look really healthy, but also maintain some of that length too. And a good haircut, honestly, is even though you're cutting hair off, it ends up making it look longer if it's got the proper shape. And that's, that's usually what happens with my haircuts, is they end up looking a lot longer because we create a really, really nice shape. So now we're just gonna finish up in the back here, creating her length throughout the back. And notice when I'm in the corners right here, I'm overextending the hair back towards me this way, because I wanna leave this weight right into here, and I'd rather take that off on this side than bring us all the way over and cut it, all right? So that's really, really important when you're working throughout the back, is try to keep everything where it's supposed to live right into here. Now I'm gonna work into the sides. So with the sides, I'm going to basically follow the line going around this way. And now we're right over the ear. And I'm holding everything just straight down. And here is where things are gonna to start to get interesting because 
here's where the angle is gonna start, right through here. So as you can see now, what's happening is on this, on her hair right here, we've got this nice, beautiful line working in this way. And here's where the ends start to get a little bit um, thinned out here because of, from not getting haircuts. So we have to really thicken this area up right through here. And we're gonna do that by just following the same pattern, but just cutting a little more hair off. I'm pointing my fingers up this way so I can basically put in the, the layers right into here. By holding your hands this way, it keeps you in a body position that's gonna make things a lot easier for you. So now I'm gonna angle my fingers up this way and I'm gonna cut downwards and we're just literally connecting all of this and we have a great uh, face frame or a great angle. So we still have this to cut in through here. So this, these haircuts, you can really be very successful at them if you keep it simple and you break it down and you keep very, very consistent. So now that we're working up this way, what we're gonna do is, again, we're pointing our fingers up towards the face. And then here is the part where we can really create the magic, which is right into here. So I'm gonna come over the top this way and now we're connecting everything. And it has a seamless, beautiful angle now going from here all the way around through here. See how much thicker that looks now? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the same thing on the other side, and then we'll start the layering process. The haircut is now complete and I think already it looks phenomenal and you know I cut it pretty much down the middle and this is my signature haircut you know this is a haircut that just is a very very nice flowing simple but really sophisticated sexy pretty haircut you know and as you can see right now the shape is completely transformed just from you know the thick she has more volume in her hair now which is great. I haven't put any products in it, but it's got a lot more movement, which is great, as you can see in through here. And what's also cool is, you know, if she wants to flip it over this way, the way I cut this angle, she can now, you know, work it in coming across that way, or she can go the other way too. That's what's awesome about this haircut is that, you know, I cut it so that she can have a lot of versatility in, in how she styles it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply um, a little bit of a smoothing serum and then we're gonna start the blow dry process. I'm not gonna talk over the blow dry, but what I wanna do is I wanna blow dry the hair kind of all coming forward this way. And then I do my signature, kind of bring your head back. We rake it through and then we show the, the money shot. So let's do it.
So now it's time for the money shot, everyone. Uh, the blow dry is complete, and this is where the models or the clients, when they see what I've done, they're, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna rake my hands through it like this. Now, here we go. Look at that. Look at that, huh? I feel like I'm from like, California. <laughs> that's right, that's right. She's now a California blonde. She's ready to go. All right, so let's look straight into the camera there. See, you're ready, you can't stop looking at yourself in the, into the monitor. But look at that, see how much bounce it has? So I just wanna break this down for you guys, kind of what I did, but uh, I don't know if you remember in the before, I mean, her hair was just kind of like, there was really no movement to it. And now she's got a really, really gorgeous shape. The key to this haircut, honestly, it's, it's creating that angle right in through here and creating a nice fluid, consistent shape and keeping the thickness throughout the length in through here. If you layer blonde hair improperly, it's gonna look very straggly on the ends. And what we were doing right from the start is I wanted to create and build volume into her hair, which you can see right in through here. All that volume now is coming in. Even the color looks a little bit better. So bringing up the layers, following the head shape, making sure it's got a nice consistent flow to the whole thing. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna take this cape off and then we'll do a nice spin around shot. Well, Damiana, how did I do? Amazing, I love it. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Thank you. Really, really gorgeous. And this, I explained to her that this haircut is gonna last her a long time. She could basically grow this out and not get it cut again for like months. Because of the way I cut this, it's gonna really last. And, and that's what you get out of a good haircut. You know, I spend a long time on my clients and it shows in the haircut and longevity. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna link to her Instagram in my description. So definitely check her out. Be careful, all right? Don't go too crazy stalking her. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave comments down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time for more videos with a song. Guy.